The second trap, also a ghost trap, appears to have been in the water a long time as indicated by heavy growth on the wire. Again, the escape panel is illegally fastened, this time with plastic rope. Heavy growth on the rope proves that this trap has not been serviced in a very long time. The sea floor underneath is littered with the bones of the many fish that perished in this trap. Catch composition of this trap includes many grouper and snapper, as well as ornamental fish species, that in only a short time would have died, thus contributing to the growing collection of bones. I don't mean the fish, I meant the garbage on it too. Okay, place just a rope. Just a rope? We have to cut the rope. Some good film to make sure you show how long that rope's been. Okay. That's the way into this trap? Yeah. Look at all the growth on it. Just the time to remove the rope to yeah. kill the fish. That's a good thought. Okay, here it is. Okay, look at the ladder inside. Yeah. Uh -huh. The red grouper. The bladder. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. yeah, that's what I wanted to film. A little gag. Oh, bloody. How messed up is uh, that when he came back, of course. That hook. Where's that hook? Where'd it go? Where'd got it? Go? it. I yeah. It. I had it. Oh, here. That's just a little bit of what was down there. The bottom was papered with them. Like this skull. Yeah. 